Hi everyone and welcome back to the Zombies. The only tier 3 mission in Act 3, Storm the Castle, requires you to complete a Merc Camp, a Stronghold, defeat the Warlord and collect Strauss Research. Since the Season 1 Reloaded, there's more than one Warlord to choose from, so we'll look at doing both Legacy and Dekabi in this video, depending on who you got to spawn in your round. In terms of equipment, for both Warlords you'll need your usual RGL, with Blue Rarity and Punch 2 that's sufficient, a PhD flopper perk and ideally a speed caller. A spare self revive is recommended as it's quite easy to go down when lots of mercs are shooting at you all the time. When dealing with Legacy you'll also need a second gun to deal with trophy systems but it doesn't matter what it is, you can literally pick one up from mercs you kill. If you spawn with the Kabi as your Warlord, I recommend doing her first since you don't need a keycard to access her fortress and there's quite a few people trying to kill her early on. So we'll do the Kabi first. Once you're ready, head over to a tall building next to the high rise and use a zipline to get into the fortress without a key. This allows you to bypass fighting the Wilson downstairs altogether as well as keep a good chunk of mercenaries waiting for you at the elevator exits. The mercs will aggro immediately as you land on the roof and will start attacking you. Use your RGL to take care of them. Beware of the ninjas coming at you from the back as well as the bomb drones that keep spawning. Bomb drones are easily killed with the splash damage of your RGL. Make your way across the bridge, taking care of the two shieldy boys on the other end. Make your way up the stairs and you'll find yourself in the main battle area. Reinforcements will keep coming as long as the Warlord is alive and she'll keep spawning bomb drones as well. As soon as you see the cubby, spam her with grenades to prevent her from flying off to a lower level. Once she is dead, she'll drop the Strauss research for you and it will be pinged on your screen automatically. Note that killing the boss doesn't despawn the enemies, so take your time to clear the area before picking up the research. If you are going against the legacy, you'll have to do the Merc Camp and Stronghold first to acquire a keycard. This will also take care of the first two parts of the mission. I highly recommend having more than one spare self revive as well, since plates are scarce and it's super easy to go down without them. Once ready to face the legacy, grab an LTV and drive straight into the fortress, all the way to the marker. Don't bother with clearing the surrounding area or fighting the attack healer as it only costs you time and gives you nothing at all. Go straight to the side door as I do. Open it and go in. You want to use this particular door because the other one leads into the room with a trophy system in it which greatly limits your RGL's effectiveness. 
You'll be greeted with two shieldy boys who you'll need to take down with your RGL. You are pretty much guaranteed to trigger some decoys that will briefly blind you. Don't worry about that too much, just keep shooting and splash damage will keep you reasonably safe. From the moment you open the door, additional reinforcements with elites and ninjas will be coming every 35 to 40 seconds, so you have to take it slow and methodical or you'll be killed from the back non-stop. Once you cleared the first room, move to the second. There'll be a suppression mine and a trophy system there, both are very annoying. Wait for the period between reinforcements, so you are not distracted by the enemies, then go in and use your other gun to shoot the trophy. If you don't have a second gun, just pick one up from the floor. Start making your way up the stairs, carefully as there is a tripwire at the top. Don't forget about reinforcements, every half a minute or so someone will try to stab you in the back. The first room upstairs has two elites in it and the way forward is blocked by another tripwire that you need to remove. As soon as you step in, Legacy aggres at you and his shotgun punches really hard, so be aware. Carefully clear any enemies you can and remove the suppression mine from the corner. Note the position of that suppression mine. That's the ideal spot from which you can shoot the enemies, including Legacy, but be safe from their fire yourself. It also allows you to shoot the floor just close enough for the trophy to damage it with the explosion but not block your shots. Clear the two elites and the shieldy boy that come at you, then shoot at the far end corner to kill the legacy. You don't want to be seeing him as then he'll see you and mess you up with a shotgun. So just watch for the heat marker to go off and he'll die really really quick. Grab the research and bail. Careful though as enemies don't despawn automatically. Make your way to the car and just leave. When all requirements are complete the mission finishes and you proceed to tier 4 automatically.
Now it's time to do my part. The secret of putting this whole damned mess to bed is hiding in those files. I'm sure of it. Hope this was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.